what's up it's Meezy the cutest hottest smartest coolest software engineer you will ever meet if you are new here welcome to my channel we talk about all things tech and software engineering so go ahead and subscribe because I know you're gonna want to stick around um, today we are going to talk about how I would learn to code if I had to start all over again this has been a trend for a lot of software engineers on YouTube I don't know where it started but shout out to whoever started it. Um, I'm just gonna put my spin on it today and I think I have a bit of an unpopular opinion on this. So let's get into it. All right, so if I had to learn to code all over again, the first answer is that I simply would not. Like if I, did everything all over again like I'll say started from high school I think I would have just chosen to pursue YouTube I've wanted to be a YouTuber since I was in middle school since I really heavily watched people so I think I would have fed my creative side more than my stem side but here we are so if I had to start over from high school where I truly 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 got into the stem uh this the stem universe um I'll, I'll, I'll start from there so um i would still go to school okay i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm still gonna go to school i simply prefer to learn from an expert okay um i wouldn't do a boot camp because i just why why are we going so fast it's just unnecessary to me and i want to go deep into like the theory of computer science i want to know the why and all that kind of stuff so i wouldn't do a boot camp and then self-taught there's just way too many options it would give me decision fatigue i wouldn't know where to start i would I would go take one course and be like, oh, well, this this isn't the right one. I need to use this one. And I would just be all over the place. So that just wouldn't work for me. Plus the fact of like having to keep myself on track and not having a specific space to ask questions. No, no, I'm not doing all of that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I would do school all over again because that is my choice. I know a lot of people have been going through and like, oh, I would just take this course and then, no, I'm going back to school. But I do have some things that would have made my school time way better. So I'm gonna talk to y'all about those today. So let's talk about it. All right, so the first thing is right after high school graduation, I still wanna take my little break and have fun and went out with my friends for a whole summer and all of that. But that month before school started, I would have done more preparation for school. So I would have looked up old course syllabi for the courses that I was taking. I would have, you know, done, I would have reviewed those and been like, okay, let me try to get familiar with some of these concepts. Um, I would have maybe even taken some low stakes like very intro to beginner programming classes because even though i took computer science in high school it would have just been nice to do that refresher and be have it fresh on my mind when i went into uh cs 101 whatever the name of the class is you know that first programming principles class it would have been nice to have it the second thing i would do is use an active study method so when i was in college i did everything passively if you want to learn more about the difference between active and passive look it up there's a whole part of youtube that's dedicated to how to study and those people know what they are talking about but in short active study methods is more like testing your understanding of the subjects versus passive study methods is basically just rereading your notes or reading your book and just trying to memorize things rather than understanding and i focused on memorization so much that I, I didn't really take the time to understand concepts because I feel like the way that I was tested for the most part in high school was if you can remember this definition, then you'll be good to go. Um, be, and, and, that, and that was because I was heavily trained in math and science where, I mean, specific, especially math, right? Like you just basically have to memorize how to do this process and you're good to go it's going to apply every single time and so i applied that across the board and it really didn't work for me um and so i wish i would have done more like active recall and tested myself on the understanding in general versus just you know uh do i know what the definition of a gigabyte is you know stuff like that so 
That's another thing I would change. Um, the third thing I would change is that I would start my assignments way earlier. I would always have like this anxiety about like, man, this assignment is gonna be so hard and I'm not gonna know how to do it. And so for whatever reason, I would wait until the last minute to do it when I wouldn't be able to go to office hours, when I wouldn't be able to ask my professor questions and I'm just like stressed and all this, when if I would have just started earlier, I would have been fine. And even now, I don't start things earlier, but I do have a process for starting things earlier. So my number one thing that I do now is I will read all my entire assignment for whatever I get. I'll read through the entire assignment or like if I'm trying to set up something at work, I'll read the entire installation instructions versus um, just assuming this is going to be hard and going one by one, blah, blah, blah. So if I was to read, what was that? Oh, it was a piece of footage. If I was to read my entire assignment top to bottom, I would, one, be able to gauge like, oh yeah, I remember us learning that in class. I can do this easily. Um, so I would know, and I would be able to estimate the amount of time it would take, so that would be number one. Number two, if I looked at it and I was like, mm, I'm not too sure about this, I could have went to office hours, I could have went to a TA, I could have went to the professor and be like, hey, this is on the homework, I don't really understand this concept, can you help me understand it so I can complete this assignment? Um, and that just would have made my life way easier, but no, I chose to just wait and do everything at the last minute. But it builds character. But I think that part of building character, I would have been okay without. The fourth thing I would change is that I would go into college with a positive mindset. So I was prepared for college, I was. Um, I went to a pretty intense high school and I had already taken Cal 1 and Cal 2. I had taken two computer science courses. Um, done a, just done a lot of STEM things in general, so it's not like I wasn't prepared for the content itself, but even in high school stuff was hard, so I just knew it was going to be harder in college, so I went in with this mindset of like, man, this is going to be so hard, and it's going to be impossible, and it's going to be a miracle if I graduate, and, and, and that it kind of is... Uh, it's part of the reason why I started my assignment so late, why I would procrastinate so much, because I would just automatically assume that there's just no way, there's no way I can get this stuff done. It's gonna be way too difficult for me. So, you know, let, let's just put it off until the last second so I can blame doing it at the last minute versus me not knowing how to do it. Um, and I, if I would have went into college with the mindset of, you know, this is going to be a little rough, but I can do this. This is a hard thing, but I can do hard things and I can make it through this. Um, if I would have shifted my mindset to be that, I think I would have had a much easier time. I know it sounds corny and I know it sounds like it really wouldn't work, but your mindset and the way that you approach situations really does determine your, your experience with them. And so... Um, I am going to grad school and I know it's going to be rough, but I am approaching I am approaching it with that mindset, the mindset of like, yeah, it's going to be rough, but I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to struggle. I'm going to, you know, change my mindset and just go into it with a positive mindset and know that I can get through this. The next thing that I would change is I would find a note taking method and a planning method that works for me. So I would go back and forth between physical and digital notes, between physical and digital planners, between only using, between only using like a whiteboard to write down my assignments and you know being very general to like getting very descriptive and I was just all over the place I was always trying something new and I never gave myself enough time to really feel out if one method was working for me there was literally not one method I left with in college where I was like yep that's the one that's the one that's gonna not only carry me through my college career but through the rest of my life there's none of that so um, I would have worked a little harder on that, maybe done some actual research. I did not know there was a whole study community on the internet. I should have checked that out. Um, so that's, that's something that really is important to me. Another thing I would change is I would have done a few more extracurriculars that actually had to do with my major. So when I was in college, I was one of those people, I was just like, I know that I'm in computer science, but I don't rock with y'all. Like this. That stuff that y'all are about, that's not me. I don't know about that stuff. Um, like, you know, I, I just, I didn't feel like you had to, 
do the whole nerd thing to be in computer science and you don't um but i do wish that i would have at least went to a few acm meetings or you know maybe went to the women in computer science meetings but i had beef with those because there was too many men in there i thought it was a safe space not women in computer science it was um sweet society of women engineers there was too many boys in our sweet chapter and there were boys on the exec board i was like what why why would why would i want to be a part of that if it is a space for women then women should run it and i don't want to see any men here okay and don't even start about allies i don't care i don't care i just want a space for me and my girlies so anyways i never did that stuff just because i didn't really vibe with anybody in my class like i mean there was people that i was like cool with but they weren't even a part of those organizations so i was like eh, there's no reason for me to do it i was involved in housing stuff i was involved in um like I did this thing for not foreign exchange students, but international students to help get them acclimated to the campus and to the school and, you know, just to American customs. I did that kind of stuff. Um, did I do anything else? Oh, I was in a sorority. But as far as computer science extracurriculars went, I was nowhere to be found. You, I, my computer science was left in the computer science building in those classes and homework. That was, that was the extents of my computer science work in college and so that brings me to my last point which is that i wish i would have made better connections with my professors um i've said many times that i've had a lot of professors that were haters um but even though they were haters i should have just went and bothered them anyway and tried to establish a relationship with them because i think that would have helped me make a lot of connections it probably would have helped me realize that I wanted to do AI machine learning and go ahead and lock in on that earlier. Um, and it probably would have at least given me some direction. You know, they've been through things, they've done things. Uh, and so it probably would have been a good idea to build connections with them. And I could have done that through those extracurriculars maybe, or just by going in their office and having chats about computer science and software engineering in general versus only when I needed help on a test and you know was crying and hoping that they would curve my grade. So that's what I would change about my experience in learning how to code. I would still go back to school. I would just change all these things. I just, I'm not built for the boot camp or the self-taught life. It's just who I am. It's just how I am. So if you are like that, don't feel bad. Some of us just want slash need to be in a classroom. Um, if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and also join my Discord. The link, All those links will be down below in the description. We have some conversations about Python going on, some conversations about machine learning, just general conversations about like uh, 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 industry and how to navigate as an early and career person. Um, just a lot of fun things going on in Discord, and I would be super excited to talk to y'all more often. Um, but also, don't forget to leave comments and all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!